Hi, we are here with... Hi, my name's Tom Keish. What are you here at the Shocker Fest this year showing? I have a short film called Monster's Lament. Uh, it's a Closet Singer original song. You can check out closetsinger.com and by mid-October you can see Monster's Lament online, actually. So what have you? What do you do on Monster's Lament? Are you a director, an actor? Uh, I was one of the three producers, along with Ron Roger and Michelle Gracie. I was the lyricist. Um, I was the vocal performer and the actor in it who plays Frankenstein, and the editor. So, how, so did you find uh, Borlos Karloff's shoes big to fill when you played Frankenstein? I, I don't know who's bigger, actually, me or Boris. I go 6'5", 270. <laughs> I don't know if he was that. So I'm more linebacker than I think he was. Okay. <laughs> uh, we could have went into, oh, uh, the father from Everybody Loves Raymond. He oh, was yeah, no, he's too. bigger. I actually work with him on something. He's got me by about three inches. So <laughs> Does he really? He would be hard. Brad Garrett, yeah, the Phillies. No, 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 Brad, not Brad Garrett, the father. He was in Young oh, Frankenstein. Oh, oh, Young Frankenstein. I, I, I don't never, know how big he is. I never met him. You know, he passed away a few years no, back. Yes, but he yeah, Very talented. He was Frankenstein. Yeah, yeah. He, well, I was thinking big, so I was thinking Brad. Oh, we're thinking Brad Garrett. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. cause it's kind of hard not to think big <laughs> exactly, with him. Exactly, right. He's more of a Frankenstein than, you know. Yes, and he's got the voice, that deep voice, too. Right, exactly. So you've worked with Brad Garrett, huh? I did. I did a uh, promo for uh, Nickelodeon That Night thing, uh -huh. and uh, I played a stalker fan of his, which was kind of funny. <laughs> so. Him having a stalker fan, that's pretty weird. <laughs> exactly, that's the creepy thing about it. So, so. What, was, uh, what other roles have you done as an actor? Uh, as an actor, probably done about 40 guest star roles on TV. I uh, have a recurring on Breaking Bad, and names Clovis on the oh. show. I just did a Chuck, uh, <coughs> done CSI, CSI Miami, uh, Criminal Minds, Drew Carey, Third Rock from the Sun. I have about nine or ten commercials on TV right now. If you're watching football instead of this, you've probably seen my <laughs> face. So. So. On CSI, were you the villain, another cop, or uh, on a body? C on CSI, the regular one, I was the red herring. You thought it was me, and then you found out it was my, one of my brothers. And in CSI Miami, I was another red herring, which means you think I did it, but then I didn't do it. Uh, I am a uh, beach watcher who's not a fan of immigrants from Cuba, and you think I'm killing them, but it turns out there's someone else killing them. Uh -huh. So... so out of all your shows you've been on, which one was your one favorite? Um, in TV, my favorite, I think, was Bones, just because I was a guest lead. I uh -huh. was in. You got to work with David Boreanaz? I did. It was fun. It was the third or fourth episode of a new season, uh -huh. so him and Emily were super. They were great. I felt like one of the cast. I was in, if not every other scene, and felt like every other scene, so it was great, and the director was great to work with as well. So, how about movies? Have you been in any of them big big screen? Uh, I was in a movie that actually was here last year called Alien Raiders and it was released by Warner Brothers Video and you can get it at Blockbuster or whatever. And that was great. I played Logan and not only did I play the character but I also got to shoot the POV cam uh -huh. as I was acting which is always a fun thing. What's a VOD cam? POV. A POV. Point of view. Point of view. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry if I said that. It's early. So. Alright. Yeah, uh, yeah no, I shot the Logan cam which it got called. Uh -huh. And so as I'm performing and they're shooting me I'm literally shooting other things uh -huh. in the scene and trying to avoid the camera and the director. And <laughs> it, it made it challenging and I like to do other things. So it's, very, so it's almost like, where's my shoestrings? Yeah. Well, you, you can shoot around anything, you know, yeah. just come in tight on the other actors. And they ended up using actually much, much more footage of that than they ever thought they would. Because your footage turned out to be more uh, shocking or entertaining uh, or aesthetically? It was a low budget movie. It was like $2.5 million. So they had to move quickly. Uh, and so there were some shots that they didn't have anything that they wanted to cut to, and they actually used my stuff. And then the reality of a grittier, shakier point of view camera was actually more frightening on some things. Yeah, I've noticed that is that the, well, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, the shaky fine. cam, you notice, has become more predominant in filmmaking over the last five, six years. Yeah, some of it to me is a little nauseating, but uh, when it's done right, it, I think it's great. So. What would you say a project that has been done right? Uh, well, I mean, Alien Raiders is something I think they did a really good job. I mean, uh, the director is a good friend of mine, Ben Rock, uh, for the 2.5 million, and I think it was a 14-day or 10-day shoot. I mean, it was r ridiculous. Uh, it's actually a really good movie. So, uh, so how many hours is the film running with a uh, point of view cam? How many what? Oh, how many hours? Is it like two hours, hour and a half? Oh, the movie? Minutes? Yeah. Uh, it's 85-minute movie. 
so or 87 I think it's just over 85 they yeah. had to deliver 85 so that's pretty impressive to have half of it shaky cam half of it real and 14 oh, well, days I, I would say in that movie there's probably uh, maybe the tenth of the movie is POV stuff uh -huh. so and then they actually have another effect uh, which is during the monster which is actually literally shaky cam which they put a uh, I don't know what it's called some film buff knows what it is but it's on the camera and it's actually shaking the camera as uh -huh. they're shooting creates a visual effect that uh -huh. the mon whenever the monsters are around they used. Sometimes it's like, isn't it easier just to save money and have you guys shake the camera on the left and right side? Yeah, but tech people don't do that. They enjoy their gadgets. So. They enjoy their gadgets and the budget. It, it, well, yeah. They spend money where they can spend money. So.